Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video we're going to cover JavaScript loops. And this is what the syntax for the for loop looks like. So we start out with a keyword for, followed by the round brackets. Inside the round brackets we have a definition of the counter, which is uh, the value that we're going to start looping from. And then we separate that with a semicolon, uh, followed by conditional expression, which is the expression that our loop will continue executing the code inside the curly brackets until this conditional expression is matched. So when i is less than 10, our loop will continue running. And when the i is equal to 10, the loop will exit. And uh, we separate that with a semicolon and here we have the modification of the counter. So we increase the value of our initial counter by one. So that's how the loop knows to keep going. So it starts out with zero and then it increases i by one, it executes the whatever value of the i is, and then it continues until the conditional expression is matched. And the iteration means a repetition of the code inside the loop. So whatever the code is inside the curly brackets is executed, and that is called an iteration. So there are other two loops in JavaScript. They're called while and do while loop, and we're gonna cover them all here in this video. So let's go ahead and start uh, with the for loop. So we're just gonna create this uh, same loop that we just covered, and we're gonna say i less than ten for the conditional expression, and increase the i by one. We're also gonna create a variable, and we're gonna set it to empty string. And then we're gonna use a uh, concatenation or uh, the uh, plus equal expression and uh, add the value of the i. So the whole thing is gonna give us zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine string. So if we now output this, this is what we get. And it's important to set the initial value of the text to uh, an empty string uh, if we're gonna be printing out the values like this. So if we set the text to zero, then the text is going to be treated as an integer. And so instead of uh, adding text values to the variable text, JavaScript is actually going to add the numbers uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine together. And the result will be different. So the sum of all those numbers will be 45. And that's what we're gonna be getting. So it's important to remember to set the initial value of the uh, the data type of our variable to the data type that we actually want inside of our loop to get the the kind of a uh, result that we want. All right, so loops are very useful for looping through arrays in JavaScript, and uh, so let's go ahead and create an array, and then we're gonna loop through it using uh, for while and do while loops. So we're gonna create a new array, name it animals, and it's just going to be an array that stores some animal names. And then uh, let's go ahead and reset the value of the text to empty string. We don't need to redefine text because we already defined it up here. In fact, if we redefine it, JavaScript is gonna give us an error. So Make sure not to redefine your variables. We're just gonna reset it to an empty string and then we're gonna set our initial counter to zero because we're gonna be starting our count from zero which is gonna be this value here. And then for the conditional expression, we're going to say i less than animals.length. So animals.length, dot length is a method that we can use on the array animals to get the length of our array. And uh, that's exactly what we want. We want to continue looping until we reach the end of the array. So our loop is going to keep going until it reaches the length of the array. And then we can just say text plus equals animals i. And let's use the uh, concatenation with an empty space to separate our values. So animals, uh, and then we use the uh, square brackets and access the i, which is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 
it's going to be those values and that's how we're going to be accessing individual values of the array so if we now print out text let's go ahead and comment out this part here so we get wolf cat cow eagle condor snake separated by a space which is exactly what we wanted and also if we print out animals dot length just to see what's going on we got six so that means the value of the array is six zero one two three four five and uh and the length actually uh even though the counters <laughs> this is really important to uh uh keep in mind here so the value is starting from zero so wolf is accessed with a value zero and uh if we count it from zero it's zero one two three four five right so why is it six then because that length treats the counter from one so it's one two three four five six so it actually counts the values that are inside the array so zero it doesn't make any sense here because one <laughs> When you have one, that's the length of the array. And so there's no zero length of the array, if that makes sense. Okay, so just keep that in mind. All right, let's go ahead and uh, use another loop uh, called while. And uh, let's create another array. And we're gonna name it keywords with some very, very important existential keywords here. Uh, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, set the value of i to zero outside the loop because uh, that's uh, how it works when uh, creating while loop and we're gonna reset our text back to uh, empty string and we're gonna say while so while we have our array we're gonna print out the we're gonna add the values of uh, the keywords to the text and let's go ahead and separate these with an exclamation mark and then down here we're gonna say I plus plus so the way while loop works is it's going to it takes we use the while keyword and then inside the round brackets we have our condition so in this case while this condition is true so while we have our arrays values the loop is going to keep going until the end of the array and when it reaches the end of the array this condition is going to evaluate to false and our loop is going to end and inside the loop we also have i plus plus which is going to which is what's going to increase the value of our counter so that the loops so that the loop knows to keep going so if we now view this in a browser we get uh, the initial oh okay so let me just comment out these uh, alerts here and then I'm gonna say alert text to print out our keywords and those are all our, our keywords here all right so and the last loops the last loop is uh, do while so um, let's go ahead and create another array and this one is gonna have some very important books. Actually, it's the humming effect that I've been reading recently. Let's go ahead and reset the text to blank or uh, empty string and let's set the value of i to zero. And so the syntax of the do while loop is do and then while after the curly brackets and inside of the while we have the condition so here we're gonna say uh, books i for our condition and uh, the statements are executed uh, inside the curly brackets just like in the other loops so text plus equals books and I'm gonna tell you guys the difference between while and do while in just a second so let's separate that with a pipe and then we also have I++ and uh, we can 
Let's go ahead and uh, print out the text over here. And let's comment out this part. View this. So we got our book names separated by pipes. And so the difference between while and do while is that inside the while loop, the uh, condition is uh, tested first and then the statements are executed. And uh, in this do while loop, the statements are executed first and then the condition is evaluated. So whatever statements we have first are going to be executed for sure. Inside the while loop, uh, if the condition is not met, then the statements are not going to be executed. So the only difference between the two is that inside the do while loop, the first statement will be executed for sure, while inside the while loop, it's not guaranteed. And those are JavaScript loops. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.